Welcome. Today, I'm going to work on one particular point. And this is something that, you know, I'm trying to work towards and see if I can find a way to translate it to sort of help you. And I've got an idea that sound and light can have quite a beneficial effect. So today I'm just wearing a red shirt. I have a gentle red tinge of light on me just to try and reinforce what it is today that I'm going to try and work on. And uh, so what I want you to do is just get comfortable, relax. If you've got a nice pair of headphones on, put them on. So just get comfortable. And so it doesn't really matter whether you believe or not in what it is that I'm doing. It's just important that you allow me to to try and see if I can bring some type of beneficial effect to you. And today I'm going to use me, my sound, my shirt, and I will be using some tuning forks. So these tuning forks will make a certain sound that uh, some people may not like. And uh, so I'll just preview the sound so that you can get a feel for whether it's going to be suitable for you in this type of situation. So again, a lot of this is imagination based. And so it's the strike that's going to have effect. Let's move this for a second. And I'll just move this. So I have some Tibetan bowls here, which I can use also. And so this might be the style of sound style with the tuning fork. I also have this one here runs at 174 hertz. This one here is 528 hertz. And so what I want to do today is just work on your root chakra. So we just imagine that there's an energy line running up your body and it's connected to your back and that there's uh, seven main chakra points which are accepted in certain um, alternative or Eastern style medicine. And uh, these chakra points might be, say, as big as this little puck. And you'll have one down at the base of your spine, one in your stomach, one in your solar plex, one in your heart, one in your throat, one in your forehead, and one on top of your head. And uh, most people will say, or it's uh, symbolized, that certain chakras have uh, certain base visualization colors. So the uh, root chakra point has a visualization color of red. And so red... Even the colors themselves have certain frequencies, and red's quite a dense frequency. It's also a slow frequency of sound, and uh, red is kind of designed in certain aspects to get your attention. And so we're just going to work using the color red emanating from me with my shirt, and sort of focus using like a Reiki style healing, and I'm going to... Uh, attempt to try to imagine that you are here in front of me and it doesn't matter whether you're sitting, lying down. Uh, I would prefer if you're in a rizaka, a relaxed position. And I'm kind to imagine that you're here with me and it's just a matter of sort of stimulating that energy point that runs out from you, so it's like an imagination. So, for example, in your root, we just imagine there's like a column of energy coming out. And with that column of energy, we also imagine that you have like a biofuel or an aura around you, and that it could be quite common that people might have 
uh, dense spots or dirty spots or holes and by working in this type of field we we try and clean it smooth it out and uh, make it better uh, what type of an effect that has I can't say but you know if it can make you feel good and uh, you know and you have like a um, a feeling in your body like you've had a massage then I believe it's had some form of an effect so it's just a matter of trying accepting and allowing something like this to happen and so I just imagined that you're here with me like I do with all of my videos I always imagine that you the viewer are here with me there is only one person at a time here with me and that's you and I always imagine that in all of my videos and that's something that I try and share with you so let's begin so the first thing we want to do is just start by allowing me to imagine that you are here and we're going to do that I think it's a little bit of sound so we're going to use a little bit of the uh, singing bowls just to help sort of connect a little bit and again I just sort of imagine that you're here and today we want to work down low into the base of the spine and this is a place that might hold blockage or tension And as we do this, you can close your eyes at any point in time. And I'm going to start to use the tuning fork. So with the combination, of these sounds we kind of just imagine that we're sort of just smoothing out the energy So here it's like almost almost like I've hit a spot and the sound just sounds different to my ears, the overtones. And so what I'll do now is just a general um, putting the tuning fork just around your around you and just to sort of help reinforce what I'm doing here. And then I'll go back 
to the lower point and just imagine that I'm working on you as you're watching. We'll just continue just working around you just with the sounds and we're going to use higher frequencies think of it like cleaning a car this is like the polish
So now we're going to go back to uh, the lower root chakra point. We're going to focus on on reintegrating that block or stuck energy in there. And it's kind of my intention just to sort of use this as a way to unblock any block parts of your energy. I believe it's a very common location where people could need this type of therapy for you. Now we just want to smooth out that area. So we just imagine that from you there's this column of energy from your root chakra point, the base of your spine. So there you go, I hope that you've um, enjoyed that little uh, root chakra sort of uh, cleansing or cleaning and um, hopefully it's had some benefit for you because that there is my intention just to sort of help you to allow your body just to sort of gain some of that vitality back and energy and um, if you like this type of thing, you're going to have to comment and subscribe too. There's lots of you guys that aren't subscribed. And uh, let me know that you want more of this type of content, if you like it, if it's beneficial. Because I need uh, the comments to, to let me know on what it is that has benefit for you. Or what it is that I can do for you in this sort of realm of... Um, what is my capabilities or my abilities?